so wait, you wanna heat up the coffee pan? All right. Wait, wait. Whoa! What the heck? You guys gotta stop doing this. Hold on. All right, guys, I'm gonna get you out of here, okay? You scared the crap out of me. All right, so we are in the Yorkshire model today. It is built in Lake Nona, St. Cloud, Winter Garden. It's a beautiful model tour, and it's built by Pulte. So stay tuned, and let's get on with this video. Give me that intro. Welcome back to my channel, it's Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and today I'm gonna to give you this beautiful model in three different towns, three different options, three different price ranges, all right? Are you guys ready? Awesome. This is the Yorkshire model, right? Here in Lake Nona, the price for this home is $701,990. In St. Cloud, it's $544,990 starting price. And in Winter Garden, it's $584,990. This is a five bedroom. And the cool thing about this house, it starts at a three, three and a half bathroom and you can bump it up to four and a half. It has a three car garage and 3,416 square feet of living space. Now, the thing about this home is that you can live grand in the Yorkshire, right? Designed with a wide flowing entryway leading into a airy kitchen, cafe, gathering room. Use the flex room as a formal dining room, office, or convert to a private den. Guests and family alike will be comfortable in this five spacious bedroom home with each bedroom accommodating a walk-in closet. So if that sounds awesome to you, we're gonna take this tour right now so you can see this beautiful home. But first, if you can hit the subscribe and alert button down below, it truly does help my channel. It helps me bring them out to you every week and I really appreciate it. So let's get on with this model. Here we are at the Yorkshire here in Isles of Lake Nona. Again, you can build this house in, in Lake Nona, St. Cloud, and Winter Garden. As I told you, the three prices of those various locations. Beautiful home. Love the, uh, the front aesthetics of the home with the pillars and the peaks. You have the paneling right here with the second floor windows. Windows all over this home. Let, let's this natural light come into the home and it's very airy and bright. That is your garage space here. That will be a driveway when they build this out and it's not a model home anymore. And let's continue. Beautiful big foyer area to greet your guests when they're coming to the home. Love the door with the glass inset. Very nice. And just to let you know, of course this is a model home, but there's like 100,000 in upgrades in this model. So just so you know, for comparison's sake, all right, as we enter this home, on the left from the main hall hallway, we have a linen closet right away. And then we enter the first bedroom with these two beautiful big windows for natural lighting, of course. I love that it's knee height, so it starts from knee height, this uh, windowsill, and that gives you a lot more window real estate when you're looking from the front, it's very nice. Lots of room. This is an ensuite, of course, 
because you have your ensuite bath here. Have enough room here for a queen size bed and tables for each side. As we press on to the ensuite bath, you can see you have your hard surface top vanity here, your sink, window, I mean window, mirror, <laughs> and pendant lighting, cabinet down below, and the towel runs in from all over the house. You have the uh, shower here, which has towel all the way up, the right way to do it, in my opinion, with the Lestello in the middle, tub, and you have a walk-in closet which is beautiful. Look how big this is. Right here. It's a nice size walk-in closet right off the bathroom area. All right. As we return to the main trunk of the home, as you can see, we have more space. Has lots of space in this hallway area. Very wide. And then we can turn down this hallway Right here is your garage door that leads into your garage space. And then this is the flex room office space. Very nice. Media room, whatever it, you need it to be, this room could be. Two windows here for natural lighting, of course. You have a sit down table. I love the way that they designed this. This is probably how I would design it if I lived in this home. Love the couch and the TV with the cubby space right below. Love the chandelier. The double doors, French doors there that lead into this space. Very nice. Decorators did an awesome job with this home. Then we head, before we head out to the rest of the home, we have this Harry Potter room, I like to call it. Now this goes all the way back. I mean, it's dark, but lots of storage space for your Christmas tree, Christmas lights, Halloween decorations, whatever you would like. Some people turn this into a doggy room and that's a very unique and awesome storage space. Here we go. The home opens all the way up from this point. So you have what you can make as a formal dining sitting area here with the two windows with natural light. Then it opens all the way up, but before we move forward, we have our powder room here next to the stairs, and we're gonna go up in a minute so I can show you what's upstairs. So you have your pendant lighting and mirror for your vanity, pedestal vanity in this powder room. Very nice. And again, here is your living room space. Love it. Love how it opens all the way up. Gorgeous pocket doors that just slide all the way open. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Very nice. There is your informal dining room there. And this is your kitchen space here. The door is open. But let me tell you a little bit about this kitchen. One second. Hey guys, so this is my new house, right? I live in that pantry. You see how big that thing is? It's awesome, it's a huge pantry. Right? And let's talk about the rest of the kitchen. All right, guys, so as we continue on to the kitchen, we have stainless steel appliances all around the kitchen. You have this grand island here. You have your three pendant lights on top. You also have your gooseneck with the extendable neck. Beautiful solid surface sink inside. You have these 42 inch cabinets, as you can see with the crown molding on the top, you have your vent range that leads the smells out to the home as you can see uh, you have this it's a gas range community which is awesome so you have your gas range which is built into the granite here along this whole line more cabinetry on the bottom of course you have your dishwasher stainless steel on the bottom here and then you have your gourmet option which has your convection oven on the top and your regular oven here on the bottom with more cabinetry on the bottom here then this kitchen leads out into your breakfast nook area or informal dining, whatever you like to call it. And you'll have, excuse my mess, two windows for natural lighting and then these patio doors that lead out from the eating area. 
So that's the kitchen and let's continue with the tour. As we finish off with the kitchen, here we have these pocket doors that are right behind the dining nook area. Very nice. So you can see, very beautiful. And here is your living room space once again. Ooh. All right, very, love it. Here is your dining, I mean your pocket doors in that area. I'm gonna slide this all the way open. Now, you don't get this backyard space with the home. And the pocket doors are an option, but they open all the way up, guys. Look at this. So I'm gonna back up so you can see. And on those February, December days, you can have this all the way open, get fresh air into the home. Love that. Look at the design they did for this backyard though. Love it. So here we have the extended lanai. And those are your pocket doors right there from uh, the, the uh, eating area. And you have the outdoor eating area here with your granite all the way through. Love that, it's a covered lanai, very nice. Love that they did the putting green, so if you're a golf fan, this may be the backyard for you. Then we have a gazebo here, and there's Pam. Hey, Pam! <laughs> and love the water view. It's a beautiful community, so very nice. Love the back backyard of this home. It's very nice. So we're going to head back in. And we are gonna start going upstairs to see what the rest of this home offers. So I will see you guys upstairs in a minute. All right guys, so as you can see when you start here at the front of the start of uh, the start of the stairs when you come up. I love how they line all the rooms up around. So we have a master bedroom here, a loft here, another bedroom here, another bedroom here, a bathroom here. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the laundry room. Bathroom there and another bedroom on the back side there. So very nice, love how they did it. We're gonna start all the way at this far bedroom here. So here we go. As you can see, we start here, has uh, windows all the way around for natural lighting, three windows, love that. As we pull to this side of the room, you can see how big this room is. And we have a walk-in closet as promised. All these rooms up here have a nice closet size. So let's take a look at that. Very nice size closet. And your wire shelving. And here's another perspective of this room here. Very nice. Enough for all this big furniture. Love that. As we proceed out back into the hallway, we get to the first dual bathroom here. Right, so we have our vanity here with cabinetry down below. We have our mirror, pendant lighting. Again, with the tile all the way up, Lostello in the middle, love that. Tub feature. And as we keep moving on through this home, we get to the laundry space here. Love that they have so we get here to the laundry room space and here we have a linen closet. As soon as we walk in, as you can see, there's some materials left from the builder and it's still the model, but then you, they're still constructing this part of the laundry room, but you have the cabinets up top, your washer and dryer here. You have a window for natural lighting. You have your utility sink here and they are still painting and doing some tap, tap up here. So that's nice. So 
we back out of that room and we move directly into another large bedroom. So this is an ensuite, another three windows. I told you this, this uh, home has lots of windows. Very nice. Love the baseball theme of this room. And here you have a walk-in closet and a ensuite bath here. So you can see the size of this bedroom here. Very nice. And we'll start with the walk-in closet here. Okay, take a good look. And then we have our ensuite bath with your cabinetry, hard surface top, sink, mirror, pendant lighting. Of course, your shower tub section here with the Lestello tile all the way up to the roof again. And we'll walk back out and we come upon in front of the stairs, another room, which they designed as a nursery. Very nice. And this room has a half step in closet here, but it's still a large room. Let me just get to the corner here so I can show you. Lots of space, uh, space in that middle section of the room. So you can see the crib is against the wall there. And you have a pretty decent walk to the dresser and mirror here. Enough room for a chair also. So big room spaces in this home. One more look at that room. There we go. And then we come upon our loft space here. So huge loft space. This is great for family night, movie night, game night, uh, the finals, inv inviting friends over. Very beautiful. Love this space. It's probably one of my favorite spaces in the whole home. You have those three windows lining up the wall here. And this um, media room slash entertainment room Reminds me of, if you guys knew the dockside model that they had, this is very equivalent to that flex space, uh, loft space that they had in that home. I love that. You gotta have the big TV. That's always a, a, a must. And then we leave this entryway here. We have another closet here, which is your AC closet. You have your two air handlers here, and maybe some sport storage space if you decide to. And then we come upon our master. So here is our master bedroom suite. Very beautiful. Love the chandelier, the panel work that they did on this wall. Of course, our two windows for natural lighting that look out to that beautiful lake view on the back. Saw the birds, that's awesome. <laughs> we have this perspective of the room here. Very big master. Right there in the corner, we have the uh, master bath suite. And we also have a closet on both sides here. So we have a linen closet in front of the bath area. And then we have this large walk-in closet, which is amazing. Love that. And then as we turn around and head directly straight, we get into our master bath suite where we have the dual vanities, cabinetry on the bottom. You have dual sinks, large mirror, his and hers, pendant lighting. I'm gonna spin around so you can see that glass shower stall here with the hardware on the side of the wall. Tile all the way up, of course, with the Lestello and the tile flooring, beautiful. Your garden tub here and your transom window for lighting. Gorgeous, love it. You have your water room directly here. And again, 
that beautiful vanity. So guys, I believe that is your home. And I'll get with you in a second. So guys, if you love this home, if this is the home for you and your family and you deserve this home, give me a call, 407-790-0929, Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Give me that outro.